So we're going to the Kit Carson Memorial Cemetery. It's right in front of me. And it's in Kit Carson Park. What's really fun <laughs> is that they put on full on concerts <laughs> in this park. I mean, that's quite the stage. Hey baby, I found the mosh pit. <laughs> so, let's go see if we can find Kit Carson and family. Yes, they light up this whole area. Look, you've got yeah. lights in the trees here. I cannot continue this video without first speaking to the conversation about Kit Carson and his actions. Recent protests over statues have sparked removal of many monuments across the country. Kit Carson and other monuments have been a part of this conversation. Along with the renaming of the park and cemetery we are about to enter. So why the controversy about Kit Carson? I don't want to get into the weeds about this because this is a video about the cemetery and I am not a historian. But Carson is a controversial figure over the conquest of the West. On one hand, he was considered a hero and he was written about in fiction books such as Blood and Thunder novels. In these novels, which he hated by the way, he was depicted as an explorer, an Indian killer, which at the time made him a hero. But further down the line, under the direction of General James Carleton, Kit Carson was ordered to subdue the Navajo in New Mexico through destroying crops and starvation, forcing them to move from their ancestral lands to a distant, desolate reservation on the Pecos River. This event was called the Long Walk. This took place starting in the fall of 1862 with the roundup of the Apache, then followed by the roundup of the Navajo between 1863 and 1864. Due to these events and others, many monuments across the West are being dismantled and places that carry his name are being renamed. <coughs> I love the fact that they have the fence grounded for lightning. <coughs> you see that? No. All these wires here? That's, That's grounding for lightning? I believe it's grounding for lightning. I don't think it's tension or wire. This is also a very popular place to walk and <laughs> play volleyball. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and then there's diamonds there. It's just so funny to be at a cemetery in the middle of your athletic field. Of your athletic field. But so this is one of the first cemeteries in Taos. So there's like a lone grave here. And this Arthur R. Uh, Mamby, born 1860 in England and died in 1929 in Taos. And are you able to read? But that he planted, he planted uh, the trees tree in this park and, and on, on Pueblo, Pueblo Road. Road. Interesting. He's a famous tree planter. <laughs> so he's outside of. The graveyard. the graveyard. Well, I wonder who's buried under her plate, baby. <laughs> and, and between the um, volleyball court and basketball court, of course, and uh, and home plate. <laughs> well, you figured the whole city's probably a graveyard. Yeah, the whole city probably is. Okay, so this so Soldier Memorial, which is this piece right here. So there was a rebellion here in New Mexico. Um, and it was in the mid 1800s and it was in regards to being annexed to the United States and the Mexican people. There were also previous Spanish land grant people that were afraid that they were going to lose their lands. Um, so there was a rebellion against being annexed to the United States. That rebellion, um, you know, people died 
and this is where a lot of them are buried. So this is the Carson family um, plot. His sons here, his grandkids are here, and he and his wife. So this is Kit's grave right here. So let's take a closer look. All right, so this is Kit's grave. Kit Carson died May 23rd, 1868 at the age of um, 59. This is his wife right here, Josephine. And it says, wife of Kit Carson, born March 19th, 1828, died April 23rd, 1868. So next to Kit and his wife is their son. His name was Kit also, Kit II. Um, and he was born 1858 and he died in 1929. There's also an inscription below that, and it looks like it's hand carved in, and it says Lupe Carson. And I can't make out the date really well, but I think it says 1870. I'll have to scope in a little bit. Um, this is Nettie Carson to his right, and um, that's his daughter. And in the back there, is Jose um, Carson and oh actually even though I'm confused because there's Loopy back there that's the um, his wife um, and their two children are buried here and then the cross I can't make out what it says but I think at one time it said unknown and so I'm not sure. Getting a little closer. Um, now I can see it's, uh, it says um, Josie Carson. And um, that's their daughter. And she was born in 1868 and died in 1892. So that's Kit Carson's right here is Kit Carson's granddaughter. That's his daughter-in-law. And I'm not sure what the story is about this, but I'm going to find out. So outside the plot is Alan Carson, and he is Kit Carson II, right there, um, son, and Kit Carson's grandson, okay? And that's Alan L. Carson, and he's Corporal U.S. Army, World War I and II. He was born March 3rd, 1898, and died November 25th, 1976. So he was uh, the grandson of Kit Carson and served two wars. And then next to him is Kit Carson III. Um, and he is also a World War II veteran. Um, and it says 713 Santa Fe BN and 157 Infantry. CCC's grandson of Kit Carson, the scout, and he was born in 1911 and died in 1999. So right next to the Carson plot is a very good friend of uh, the Carsons, and I believe you pronounce his name De Tavis. Um, it's Peter. So as you look around the cemetery, you can tell there's a lot of missing headstones. And when you look on the web, you also see that there's no headstones for some of the more famous people of the town, um, which is sad. So here's Padre um, Martinez. Um, I've been trying to find where his parents are buried. I'm hoping to find that soon. Um, but he's buried next to D. Martinez, who fought in the Spanish-American War. So I'm, I'm assuming this is a grandnephew. Um, Father Martinez was married before he became a padre, but I, I'm pretty sure he, they didn't have any kids. Um, so I'm as he was part of a six his parents had six kids and so this is probably one of his nephews that's buried next to him but i'm gonna try to find out uh, 
So it looks like a pretty new stone though. It's the base. Yeah. yeah, the base is, yeah, her pretty headstone nice looks like it was destroyed and they put up an, a new headstone. And the base of that's really old too. But this was Governor Bent's uh, wife. And he's buried in the Santa Fe National Cemetery in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is a, a military a military uh, cemetery. A Native American woman. I think he was married twice. Oh. So Maria Bent is Kit Carson's sister-in-law. He married um, her sister. So all the headstones next to her are their grandkids. So... I think they used to have these some type are, of literature here. Yeah. So these are all their grandkids. So this is really cool. Um, buried next to Frederick McCobb. <laughs> Frederick McCobb. Um, anyways, this is uh, really cool. That's an anchor. Looks like it's... See, anchor. it goes down here, and then it's got the hooks right here. It's an anchor. Well, he was a... That's a... Captain? Yeah, it says Captain William. What was his last name? I can't read it. Let's get a closer look. That's a witness tree. A witness tree. These trees are very. Mr. Martini was saying how old these trees are. That's Kit Carson's family plot right there. Uh, oh, these are really young trees. Planted uh, shortly after he passed away. Yeah. Look at that one they cut down. Yeah, and these are all old. So if you come here, it's best to not park at the old gate because there's no parking signs everywhere. And it's kind of on a dead end road. <laughs> um, and this is how Google will direct you, but there's no place to park. So, um, and that parking lot right there is, is blocked off. So Kit Carson's museum house is literally right there. So if you go to the museum, you just walk a block, come up this road, and you'll get to the Memorial Park. There's also parking um, off the main drag too. As mentioned, the Kit Carson House Museum is just around the corner and is well worth the visit. Also look out for the many other videos we will put out about Taos and the people who are buried in this cemetery. Those videos can be found on Generations Found or Colorado Martini.